So this is our barrel cactus. You can dehydrate them so they turn into these like little chips and they kind of taste like lemon and they're actually really good. Giving all you want souls, raising up a new world where everyone is sacred, every life accounted for. Grow your garden, find your tribe. Let your hearts burn inside Move your body towards the light Hello everybody, this is Richard here coming to you from the Terraform Homestead. For those of you who are new to the channel, we are a nonprofit based out of the Sonoran Desert that promotes environmental sustainability and natural building techniques. We are coming to you today with our second episode in our desert gardening series, part of our early days homesteading adventures. Um, as this series goes on, we try a bunch of different things and in the end learn that uh, we need to reach out to some partners for uh, gardening help and things like that, that it really takes a community, uh, not just one individual to properly have a self-sufficient homestead. Since this series, we have kind of backed away from gardening and more gotten into permaculture, building uh, berms and swales, working with our natural environment and shaping it in a way that things will grow on their own without human intervention. Hello everyone, this is Richard here and I want to give you guys an update on the greenhouse. I've been working in here today doing some reorganization and upgrading our hydroponic system. Um, so before we've been doing what's called the crack key system, which is basically you just put the roots in a bucket of water, the plant soaks up the water um, and creates what's called air roots and gives them oxygen and then they grow. Um, I've upgraded it sort of to what's called a deep water culture system, which is basically the same thing, but instead of just letting the plant use up the water so it creates those air roots, you put oxygen in the water with like an aquarium pump. And so there's a little solar panel uh, right out there, and it runs in here to this pump that you can hear is running. And then basically that runs down to here where I've got these little shutoff valves. Uh, so this helps control the airflow so that like these guys aren't getting all the water and or all the air and these guys aren't getting any. Um, and then basically it just branches off through these little T's to each of the containers. In each of the containers there is an air stone and it creates bubbles. So I'll show you guys this just as an example. See them bubbling away. Nice, pretty healthy roots. And yeah, um, I've been trying it with a couple of these plants here. So this is a basil that I got. I just cut him back um, about in half and basically cut it so that it'll bush out more. Um, so we'll get more leaves and it'll be more of a bushy plant rather than just long stringy. Um, this was our squash. It's a, a Mexican. Um, I cannot pronounce that squash um, and when I got him he was like maybe the size of this leaf um, there's actually three in there so they've been blowing up like crazy uh, this was one that I had the aeration on and then cucumber um, our mint I have to cut him back every, about every week because um, he just doubles in size like every week and this was the big tomato that sadly I broke last time I was moving it so um, I'm attempting <laughs> to take his remains and make uh, cuttings out of it so these are actually looking pretty good I think it's only been a week so basically just soaking these ends um, in water and hopefully they'll grow roots the oh there's some little roots on this guy so once these bush out, they'll get put into the big system. Over here is my okra. Um, they're going to get thinned fairly soon. Uh, this is some carrots. There's a couple little bitty guys uh, showing up. Some peas. I'll probably move some of these. These are kind of too close together, so I'll move some of these to the hydroponics. I got another little one. I haven't seen him yet. Um, these guys... Some of these will get moved, some of them I'll just leave here. Uh, beets, garlic, and the radishes have been doing really good. So 
I'm really happy with these. Um, we'll probably start harvesting some of these, uh, the leaves at least, for some salad. And then yesterday I planted a bunch of potatoes here. Uh, so just kind of throwing stuff at the wall and see what happens, uh, see what works. I'll show you what we got in the incubator greenhouse. So the exciting thing in here is microgreens. Finally getting trays that actually look pretty good. We've been, I've been harvesting off of this, so we had a really good salad last night. I'll probably cut up a bunch of these radish, and this is uh, broccoli and some other stuff, um, more radish, and we've actually got some kale growing. This was an experiment with um, just some bird seed that we had just because I was curious and uh, turns out we just got grass. So this isn't actually edible, um, but it was kind of fun. I'm just seeing what happens with it because I got the tray and then uh, some peas, pea shoots. So I already started harvesting a little bit of these, but these guys are really good. Um, yeah, you just take them and eat them. Also going on over here, this is the uh, nutrient film technique. NFT system. Uh, these are some cuttings I took from one of the tomatoes in there. They're both doing awesome. Some squash. All right, good morning, everybody. We are here and we got two new trees. This guy, this is a blue pal verde and we found him, he's kind of, leaning over um, so he was on sale for like 50 bucks and usually they're like 250 bucks so we got him and brought him home got him staked up here uh, until he gets some roots good tree was just kind of derpy a little bit and I'm okay with that so got him and then this one over here is the shade master which I feel like you have to say the shade master in that way all the time uh, so this is a, a tree that's good for the desert. They like they're okay with the crappy soil and um, They grow super super fast. So this is kind of our backyard Oh, also our big mesquite here and a couple little mesquites over there. I'm hoping they grow pretty big um, Now that we're kind of mulching them and taking more care of them and all that. So yeah, really excited Palo Verde and the Shade Master here in the greenhouse and doing some more experimenting today with the permaculture and the stuff that's around us. Uh, so I went out this morning and harvested, this is a uh, little leaf uh, sumac uh, berries. And so they taste almost exactly like a uh, warhead candy, uh, which is really cool because I really like those. Uh, they're full of nutrients and stuff like that. The other thing I have going is these are our barrel cactus um, fruits. So I'm letting those dry out into like kind of a lemony chip, uh, which is pretty cool. And then I have some uh, radish seed pods drying. So these will actually dry out. Um, once they get completely dry, I'll break them open. And these will be our new radish seeds. This is the little mini test bed I made about a week ago. Um, things are starting to come up and looking good. So we've got some sunflower and some peas in here. Um, today's project is to create another uh, sunken bed. So it's basically a raised bed but reversed. Um, so I've got everything dug out here. Um, Use the auger over here and kind of loosened up the soil and this this little patch has turned out nice so uh, I'm gonna fill this back up with good soil get my fence in and then I've got some giant sunflower some okra and some uh, beans to go in here we're pretty well done here I'm gonna do some rocks just around the outside to uh, discourage rabbits and stuff from digging under but um, yeah pretty happy with this for just a small little project today um, Got a bunch of stuff growing. Hopefully it does well and we'll get some crops in the next couple months. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in what we are doing, be sure to hit that subscribe button right below. It helps us uh, grow and helps other people see our content that we are creating and get some more information out to the world. 
We'll be coming to you soon with a rainwater harvesting episode uh, specifically based around our berms and basins and collecting the natural rainwater to grow things without any human intervention. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I want to give a special thanks to Connor Carell um, for our intro music. He's an amazing musician. His link will be in the description below. If you guys are at all inspired by what we're doing, please share, uh, comment what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see next. We're working on a lot of projects out here and we'll be having weekly videos coming out soon. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Go build something cool. Enjoy your day.